<gasps> oh no. Do I have to be artistic? Oh my gosh. Are you nervous? Oh no. <laughs> this is gonna be so bad. Hi, I'm Savannah DeMello, midfielder for the U.S. Women's National Team. Is it still kind of fun to say that? Yeah. It's, <laughs> I think that's my first time saying it. Really? I think, yeah. So. You, you want to say it again? That's for... kind of why. Like... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. That was a good one. What did you want to be growing up? So I loved going to SeaWorld growing up. And so I wanted to be like a dolphin trainer. But then that was like from like first to like fifth grade. And then once I got older, I wanted to be a nurse like my mom. My mom works in the NICU, so with babies. So I always thought that was super cool. That's so cool, wow. Yeah, and that's what I went to college for. You were a nursing student in college? Yes. So when did the dream switch to pro soccer player? When I went to like my first college showcase, I think, my dad was like, oh yeah, like this is gonna be so cool. Like you can go to college for soccer and then hopefully maybe after you can go play pro. And I was like, oh my God, like, I think the women's game was growing a lot at that time too. Um, we had an LA team, I think it was called LA Soul. LA Soul. LA Soul. Marta. Yes, yeah. exactly. So that's when I kind of was like, oh my gosh, like I don't want to be a nurse. I want to go play soccer. So now that you are a pro soccer player, what's one of your favorite parts of the job? I think just being able to like hang out with like the people I do and like travel as much as I do. I think that's like the best part. And I don't think that's like something I ever get sick of or tired of such a fun environment to be in. And I think it's so like unlike anything else, any other job. And then both with club and then obviously you've played a ton with the youth teams. What's the coolest place soccer's taking you? For our 20s, we went to Australia. So that was really cool. Um, me, and, me and Foxy have a picture actually of us scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef. Cause we went to Cairns for like one of our trips. And I thought that was like super cool. And that was kind of my like my first big, big trip like out of the country. So that's probably the coolest. And then we also went to Paris, which is awesome. And like not a, it was like a super fun place to be in. All right, soccer aside, what's one place that you want to travel to? Um, I really like that show Game of Thrones. And I think, I think it was, a lot of it was filmed in Croatia. So I really wanted to go and see Croatia after that, which was really cool. And I've always wanted to go to New Zealand, so. That worked out. That worked out. <laughs> All right, I'll do a couple of little rapid fire ones. Okay. Beach or mountains? Beach. Sweet or salty? Salty. Morning or night? Morning. Fall or spring? Fall. Road trip, driving, or passenger seat? Passenger seat. Who is one national team teammate that you would never let be the driver? <laughs> Emily Fox. <laughs> it'd probably be me, honestly, would be the person, but if I have to pick somebody else, it'd be Fox. What does the phrase always possible mean to you? Just no matter what position you're in, no matter if it's like off the field or on the field, I think just your mentality with things is kind of the biggest barrier or thing that can get in the way. So I just think as long as you like have complete trust in yourself and confidence in your ability, then like really anything is possible. One, two, three. Oh, I like it. It's okay. You wanna walk me through the uh, process? So honestly, I, I just feel like I like to do a little bit of patterns and then I would add a crayon to it. So I tried to use different things. I didn't really wanna try the paint. I left that be, but I love markers and I love crayons, so I kept it with those two. 